Hey everybody, welcome to Shop Talk. I'm Keith, and I'm here with my best friend Bob. And I'm here with my best friend Keith. Keith. You know, it is a real benefit, and I'm, I'm saying this. I'm going off script here. Okay. It's you know when when you uh, the, the we best. No, we had a script. Well, we don't. But the best place to work, you know, uh -huh. you got to love what you do, mm -hmm. and you got to really love the people you're working with. Yep. Yeah, and I'm working on that. <laughs> wow, that hurts bad. <laughs> okay. Anyway, well, anyway. He's today, been on vacation, so he's a little chipper today. Yes, I am chipper. So what are we talking about today? The, should we talk about the benefits of Diet Coke? How about Mountain Dew? Well, I tell you, this does have benefits. I went the entire weekend. I went and visited my brother in Nevada, and this will be quick. But for the entire weekend, I didn't have Diet Coke. And I found that was mind-altering. And I came back, and I think I drank a case. I feel good. Well, I'm glad you're Yeah, and I'm good. awake, too. So, Well, anyway, the thing we want to talk about today is is uh, I listen to a lot of questions that come in. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kristen was just talking to somebody about uh, the different kind of software right. that comes with the uh, uh, with the E3, the E4, well, actually, and the Kale. None of the software comes with the E3 and the E4. Well, I didn't say it did. Yes, you but did. No. Okay. Then... That points to the confusion that many customers have. Absolutely. Because they think telling it, people we come to software I when didn't. it doesn't. Okay. So we're going to talk about what you don't get. Okay. Because when you buy our machine, you don't get. Absolutely That doesn't not. sound good. No. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. It, it you get actually, a lot. It is good that you don't get software because there's different kinds of software. As a right. matter of fact, Kristen and I did a video on different software, and Kristen, we'll put that link down below yep. if you want to see it. But... Uh, there's there's lots of choices on software that 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 you may or may not want. Well, before you get there, okay. You know, just just as a reminder, you need three types of software to run your Bob CNC. In fact, you need three types of software with any CNC. Absolutely. You've got to have uh, you've got to have design software, CAD. CAD, computer aided you, design. You've got to have CAM software, computer aided machining or manufacturing, isn't it? Wasn't that originally? I don't know. I don't know. I was You're trying the to show. History buff. Yeah, well, I think it was, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you've got to have something that's going to create the tool paths and then edit the G code and all that kind of stuff to yes. send it to the. Okay. So CAM is basically creating a tool path, which is typically called right. the G code file. And then you've got to have a G code sender. Yes. Okay. And what does the G code sender do? Well, it actually sends the G code. Okay, that was too hard. Yeah, that was a tough question. Okay, well, why why doesn't our machine come with software? Well, actually, um, we use a firmware on our controller that is called Gerbil. Right. Uh, Sunny is the lead developer of that, and it's an awesome software. And in order to send G code to that, you have to have a special kind of sender. There's different kind of senders, like Mach 4, Mach 3, Linux, CNC, those send G code files and do okay. some, some other things. But but we need one that is compatible with Gerbil. And we believe the best one out there is Universal G Code Sender. And the reason you believe it's the best? Well, I, it's got really good support. It has the features that uh, we need. Uh, it works with the Apple, Linux, and Windows. Although, as we've talked about before, right. if it isn't Windows, you're not going to get much support from us because we just we know Windows. That's about all we know. Well, it's not that it's not that we. Yeah, well, it's true. But the the reason we're we're Windows based is because most engineering and most manufacturing platforms are yeah, Windows based. The software is yeah really the creative. software. Right, yeah, right. Max Max behind on the the uh, CAD CAM thing. I mean, they're yeah. catching up uh, with uh, like Fusion 360 has a CAD CAM, but uh, it's it's really a, a tough program to learn, and it also has some, uh, um, oh, I, I would say... Idiosyncrasies? Yeah, well, once you get involved and you start, you know, you learn how to use it and you invest six months, they might want you to start paying for it a little bit. So, you know, it, you know, it's, it comes off as free, but, you know, maybe not so much in the... Uh, oh, because you the, end up with a subscription. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's, that will work with those, but uh, the, the most popular software by far is the Vetric software, which is your VCarve Desktop, VCarve Pro, and right. Aspire. And those are, are Windows, and they're also, like I said, they really are the most popular ones out there. However, they, they're they expensive. Now, you know, if you're just wanting to make signs and stuff, you would probably just want to stick with a 2.5D software. Well, not just signs. You're talking more specifically about the size of a plaque. Because well, it's not you really guys the size. Make, it could be a big sign. 
Yeah. But still, you know, if you're just uh, mm-hmm. uh, doing stars, like, you know, flags are really popular. Right. Right? Um, or if you're just, uh, you know, putting the name of uh, a business and it's a, a logo on there, then, yeah, you're, uh, you're Maker Cam, um, Easel, Carbide Create, um, Estocam, all of those are, and they're all free. Well, except for Estocam, it's like sixty bucks, but that's okay, yeah, close really inexpensive. It's actually my favorite. Okay, but a lot of people don't like it. It's really, it's it's really built for engineers. So if you like AutoCAD, you'll like Estocam. Okay. Uh, if if you don't like AutoCAD, you know, if if that's not your type of way of thinking and or, or using a CNC machine, Estocam. Uh, will be a little bit of a struggle. It still has some of the features on it for the artist, but uh, it doesn't compare to uh, the veteran software. So really, I mean, kind of summarizing things up, or maybe not so much summarizing, but the, the, the final point I think that has to be made is uh, you, know, you understand that the machine comes with everything you need for the machine. It just doesn't come with the software. Right. And we've talked about some of the software to look at, but you need to do some research online. Absolutely. Uh, if you go to those, if, in fact, if you just Google uh, free CAD CAM software. Oh, yeah. there's. I mean, the Inkscape has got a module, or if you just type in G-Code Creator, there's, you know, DXF to get, there's just a bunch of it out there. And honestly, and it, you can even do 3D stuff for free, but the learning curve is higher, right? right. Which makes, you know, the Vectric, it costs money, but the learning curve is, is, is really pretty easy. To right. get started so it really just depends on what you're wanting but you know I always tell customers when they call and we start having this conversation I would much rather start out with uh, the easel the carbide create maker cam you know the free software and then you get smart enough to know what you really need in a CAD cam uh, software and then you can uh, start purchasing it now if you already know that uh, I want to do 3d I got some uh, models off of Etsy uh, yeah, VCAR, Vectric, you know, Desktop Pro or the Aspire. So it really comes down to, you know, what do you want to use it for? So guys, if you have any specific software questions, you can get a hold of us at the help desk at bobcnc.com or any questions about uh, how to run your CNC or, you know, or if you want to just tell us what's going on in your shop. Till next time, thanks.